Hey, so what are we made of? Let's find out with the elements of life. I showed you this diagram in the last lesson. That is how we divide matter up into different categories. This time we're going to focus just on the most basic uh, type of matter that would be in living things, elements. There are 118 elements on the periodic table of elements, but there's not 118 different elements in most living things. In fact, there's typically just a few. So what elements are we made of? Well, we're mostly made of the following. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur, or chomps. Okay, so of those six things, we're really about 94% four of those things. We're mostly carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. If we break down the human body and look at its different elemental components, we find that we are about 65% oxygen. That's a lot of oxygen. And we're about 10% hydrogen. So 75% of our body is oxygen and hydrogen. And you may have already guessed why that is. That's because we're about 60% water by weight. And since water is made of hydrogen and oxygen, that accounts for a good chunk of those elements. We're also made of about 18% carbon, and carbon is very important to living things. In fact, we have an entire branch of chemistry called organic chemistry dedicated to studying carbon. The reason carbon is great for living things is because it readily makes lots of different bonds, and so it builds sort of a uh, chemical backbone to build all of our other compounds and living components on. We're only about 3% nitrogen, but it's still one of the big four, and we're about 4% everything else. So we're 94% carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, and 4% everything else. So what is that everything else? Well, I already mentioned phosphorus and sulfur. Those are important in making proteins and nucleic acids like DNA. But we're also of calcium, which is found in our bone, potassium, sodium, which are important electrolytes, along with chlorine. We're also made of some magnesium, some iron, which is found in the hemoglobin of our blood, which helps us carry oxygen to our cells. We're made of fluorine, zinc, copper, iodine, selenium, chromium, manganese, molybdenum, and cobalt. And that right there is most of the elements in you and me. Join us next time when we start putting these elements together and start making compounds.